Okay, hello everyone. All right, so let's write um, kind of a, a, a program that's a simple program that's going to, I say simple because we are only using, um, we, it's only going to be a few lines and we're using what we learned so far with our arithmetic operators and basically, basically what we've learned so far to create a program, right? Let's create a program that's going to, um, for example, let's say we own a store and we are running a sale 20% off or let's say 30% off all our products. So you write a program that's going to allow the user to type in the original price of the product and it's and the program is going to tell them how much um, they are going to pay with that, uh, basically how much they're going to pay with a discount applied to it. So if it's 20% off, then it's if the price is $100, then it's going to be 20%, which is $20, right? $20 off the original price of $100. So that's, the user is going to pay $80. So basically a program that's going to, to display to the user how much discount and how much they're going to pay um, without, or um, how much they're going to pay with the discount taking off the original price, basically. All right. All right, so let's, first of all, um, define a few var uh, variables. Um, um, no, <laughs> let's go ahead, let's go ahead first of all and then ask the user, um, let's ask the user to type in the original price. So, so basically we are running a 20% um, sale. So we can even display a message like this and say, okay, um, sale, sale, sale. Um, we say 20% off all products. Rush in now. Something like that. So this, this is just going to be displayed. When I run this, you're going to just see exactly that. And then we move on to the next thing we want to do, is, which is we're going to ask the user to enter using the input function um, to enter the um, the, pr the product that they want to know um, basically how much how much how much it is with 20% off that product, right? I hope you get me. So they enter the, the, the original price of the product and then the program tells them how much they're going to pay with the discount applied, right? All right, so we tell them, please enter the original price of any product. And we know the input function displays the string to the user and it allows them to also type in something and whatever the user types, even if it's a number, is going to be returned to us as a string. All right, so first of all, because it's going to be returned to us as a string, we have to store it in, store it in a variable, right, as a string. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to name this variable user input string, right? So whatever the input function returns is going to be stored in this variable user input string. But we know the user is going to type in most likely a number, right? Because we are telling them to, to type in the original price. And so we need this value converted to a number because the input function always returns a string. Whatever the, whatever the user types is always returned as a string by the input function. So we are going to convert that the value stored in here to a double in this case because the price could be $70.5, 87.23 right it's it's a, it's could be it could be a floating point value and not just let's say two dollars or three dollars right so let's convert it to a, a float and so we know we can use a float function to basically convert the content of user input string so the float function takes in in, in the parentheses this value user input string okay the content of user input string as an argument so we are passing the value of user input string into basically these parentheses, we are giving it to the float function, and the float function is basically going to take the contents of it and then convert it to a float. And then when it's done converting it to a float, it's going to give it back to us. It's going to return it back to us and say, okay, here you go. I've converted the contents of this variable user input string to a float, so here you go. And so if it's giving it back to us, if it's returning it back to us over here, then we need a variable to accept it. And so I'm going to create a variable to store that value and that value is going to be the original price. I'm just I'm even going to add the, val the 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 name user to it. So user original price. All right. So we are converting everything stored here as, uh, uh, from a string, okay, to a float using the float function. And then the float function is going to give it back to us. It's going to return it to us, 
And so we are storing that value, that default function is returning to us into user original price. All right. Now to calculate a percentage, 20% of this value, right? We know 20% on our calculator over here, right, is 20 divided by 100. 20% 20, 20 is the same as 20 divided by 100. That's 0 0.2, right? 20 out of 100. Okay, it's the same as 20%. 20 out of 100, 20 divided by 100 gives you 0, 0 0.2. So you can e either directly type in 0 0.2 or you can you can do the do the math in here. Let's let's kind of break it down, right? So we want to calculate the discount the discount, right? And the discount is going to be basically 20% of our original price. And so the way you do it is we know 20% is the same as 20 divided by 100, right? So 20 divided by 100 I'm going to surround it with parentheses because I want that to be calculated first, right? So 20 divided by 100. So 20. This is the same as 20 percent. So 20 percent off. You can read the multi multiplication sign as off, right? 20 divided by 100 times. You can read it as off. So 20 divided by 100 times the original, the user original price, right? So 20 percent. Off. You can read the multiplication sign as off. Use original price, but basically we are multiplying. This is multiplying. The, this is the multiplication sign. So 20 divided by 100 of the user original price, and we know this is going to be valid to our discount. <coughs> How much we're going to be getting off the original item. So this is going to be our discount. So we need to store it in, a, in, in the appropriate var variable. So I'm going to create a variable called a discount and store that in there. All right. And then we are going to create a variable. Okay, we, we need to tell the user how much they're going to pay with the discount subtracted from it, right? So we know the original price, we know the discount. All we have to do is just perform some subtraction. So use our original price. We determine our discount. All we have to do is subtract the discount from it, right? And we know this is going to give us the final value that the user is going to pay. Okay, so the final price or the final cost. So we can make sure we store that in, a, in the appropriate variables. The final cost is going to be equal to the original price minus a discount, which we've calculated over here. And then now we have our values in our variables. We can just display it to the user and say print. And then we say um, you saved, right? First of all, we saved, and then let's pass it in the print function as argument. You saved discount. We know discount contains how much they saved. 20% off the original um, item, right? That's $20 out of, if it's $100 as the original price, then $20, right, is going to be the discount, how much they saved. So you saved discount, um, and then we can say, your final let's let's add a period here first your final price is or oh, the final cost well, i don't know final your total right your total is and then let's pass in the the variable final cost All right so when you pass an argument into the print function this way we know that by default they are displayed with a space separate in them right so this is going to be displayed as you saved space the value uh, in discount all right and then space well basically uh well basically um okay i'm, go I'm going to have this period there. it's going to look a bit weird but so it's going to be displayed as you saved space the value in discount space your total is space final cost right so let's let's see how how this is going to turn out all right so sale 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 all right Please enter the original price of the product. Let's enter 100 here. 100, hit enter, and say it's it's saying you saved 20, right? Your total is 80. Now, now because we have we are not really formatting these values as mo monetary amounts, like we know we don't have the commas in here, we don't have the we don't have the dollar sign in front of it, so it's not really looking like a the a dollar, right? But then we will learn we will learn how to really format a number or a, a monetary amount or uh, yeah a number to let's say a currency value like. You know, a currency value with commas in there. We will learn how to do all that. But for now, let's just let's just take it take it like this, okay? And we'll learn more about it you know, going forward, right? So, if the original price is a hundred dollars, then because they are having a twenty percent sale, right? Then they saved twenty dollars, twenty dollars, right? 
and then they're going to pay eighty dollars because twenty dollars is, is has been subtracted from the original price of hundred and now they're down now they're paying eighty. We can try with with another value and let's type in let's say four hundred and fifty six. Hit enter. They saved ninety one dollars and twenty cents, and their total is three hundred and sixty four um, dollars and eighty cents. All right, so we'll again work on how to um, format um, currency values, and then we'll talk more about the print function and we basically have to have more control over it right because over here you're seeing it's not really looking like it's supposed to uh, we'll talk about how to have more control over the print function going forward as well all right um so another thing you could have done over here was to let's say um you could have stored this value here this value 20 here in a variable right and so you can you could have stored in a variable and then use it use it in, in the print statement, right? And so when you when you basically use it in the print statement, or, or sorry, or the print function, you can also use it here, um, basically in your discount. So that so that basically when you so when you change the, the discount in one variable in one place, it's displaying in the print function. At the same time, it's 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 using the actual value that's being displayed in your discount calculation right so don't worry don't worry about all that but um, we, we can make our program e programs even more better with uh, with um you know, certain enhancements and we'll look we'll see more of them you know going forward right so this is just like a, a fun little program to have a better understanding of our math operators and basically um most of what we've done you know kind of so far all right i know i'm talking a bit fast but yeah sometimes i get really excited but all right, just ignore me, and I hope you understood this. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.